their situation is um, to repurpose in the near future or at a later date. Either way, there is something you can take away from this discussion. Now, the previous discussion was about 26 minutes or so. I don't know how long this one going to go for. I might just redo it or I might just edit it or I might just keep it the same um, and just throw it out into the universe, right? And hopefully we get, we reap some good results, right? Hopefully we reap some good results and, you know, it does well. So we just have to take this to the levels it need to be um, no filter and um, no script so we're talking about repurposing our content I tell you what are you talking about repurposing our content well this is what we do you ever had a shirt or an outfit that you couldn't wear or it was no longer good but you never want to throw away the material you use that material now make something else whether it be a bag or a socks or even a blanket you repurpose that material it's the same context to content creation a lot of times the material we have it is stagnant a lot of times the material we have is not getting the views not getting the necessary um channel notifications what we do we don't get upset and delete we keep our content we just put it on the plate and we cut it into portion right you can make that into a podcast you can make that into a blog you can make it into a clip you can do collaboration you can do green screen there are so many features out there that you can use for your content and it can be repurposed right a lot of times the background music that we would like to use we cannot use them for copyright but when we repurpose it now and make it into shots or clips you're under that platform right you're under that platform license and you can use the song that you want to get the message out for that particular content <coughs> so that is a form of repurpose, right? Cutting or splicing your video up into different segments, um, anywhere from 15 to 30 to 60 seconds. This is the range that they use for shots, and um, you can use that in respect to its owner now the owner will let you know you know I don't advise anybody to go and use anybody content outside of what the owner allow the owner will let you know somewhere within the video whether it be in the description or the settings if you can remix use the video use the audio or even collaborate with it or green screen it whatever the case is you'll find that in the descriptions or in the settings i don't advise anybody to download any videos because most videos 99.9 percent .9 of them are copyrighted and if you go and use a copyright video it will not necessarily get you today but you'll get you another day and the day that it does get you it's gonna be a problem for you right 
a lot of times um we see some of the content that people like to do is because they, they take the average joe and the average jane right and they take their content and then reuse it without the permission of the content creator and you know they become commentaries they become reaction videos and things like that but for the most part right they don't use discernment right now a good way of of not getting a copyright strike is always look at the material right look at the material the content that is that you wish to use if it is of high quality if it is um from a well-known source i don't recommend it right i don't recommend it if it is an a person who is basically a content creator but they understand the business right they're not a very well known but they're known but they understand the business and they don't have issues with um things of that nature then by all means you, you should go ahead and seek an opportunity to do a collaboration or a clip or even um repurpose that video with your help right giving credit to the content creator also is a big plus right normally sometime when you do a duet or a clip um and you use it under the service that you're taking from it automatically acknowledges the original address it came from so that is you know a no-brainer that helps but for the most part if you're uploading new content with the previous content as a reactionary or even a collaborator you should give the original content creator some credit give them some credit man you know it's only right um a lot of people today are being penalized for plagiarism it's a form of plagiarism a couple of weeks back they got some professor you know who basically you know was assumed or or whatever proof they had they just you know nailed her and she had to resign because of plagiarism it's a big thing when you work and you do your content and people don't acknowledge you you know of that content whatever it may be a book a song whatever it may be you know artwork if it inspires you to create something on top of it you should also in write share that inspiration with the creator it came from is only the right thing to do so moving along that is one area um it is most popular in visual work work that you can see with your eyes when it comes to listening now um it's popular but the credits you know you there's no way you can put out work without the credits so you have to give credit where credit is due on the visual side on the hearing side the same thing also uh back in the days um a lot of people would a form of repurposing you now use sampling right um it's still used today but now today is more uh more originality and authentic work is uh promoted now right so the creativity is like on a higher scale today than it was back in the day back in the day a lot of people 
were creative but because of the barriers that were set and the standards that were set before the digital age came in people you know had to basically um know somebody to know somebody right you don't know me but you know youtube so youtube got my back or podcasts got my back or whosoever else got my back got my back right those days you had to know somebody literally and it was all analog tvs and radios were analog. now the digital age it is fairly simple some of you are listening to me on your tv some of you are listening to me on your phone some of you are listening to me on the laptop or computer right so different ball game you know the rules still apply acknowledge give credits but different ball game digital from analog is a different ball game and it broke down some walls and some barriers put some people out of business some people change with the time right they repurpose themselves change with the time right there was a lot of i remember if you're you know i'm not aging myself but if you remember during the analog days you know if you didn't have that music that you wanted or that recording that you want you had to search far and wide you know you had to do your research you had to go to the best of the best places the best stores you had to go far and wide you know um some of the the biggest places that were you know music hubs was like tower records and virgin atlantic arms record store you know what i mean and and then all of that went away in the early 2000s because digital now was the talk of the talk you know so it it's the same lines of repurposing it's the same lines of repurposing and um you know it's just that you got to think out the box those companies for some reason did not think out the box they just faded away you know then they caught on by the time it, they caught on some of it was you know too late then came the spotify's and the apple musics and all of that when these guys were were right there they just said well we don't know what to do they know what to do they just thought it was a fad and they never changed so i'm trying to avoid the you know anxiety or the fear of changing right you have to repurpose yourself right you got to stay in tune with what's going on you got to stay alert you don't want to get caught off guard you don't want to be you know caught with your pants down as they say right and you want to be able to go to the next thing with a smooth transition you know what i'm saying with a smooth transition every genre that we have today was a genre where people got caught off guard right people got caught off guard and people did not understand people did not uh, want to learn people did not want to adjust right now being in the digital age that we are in no there is no reason for us not to we have to you know i always remember i could imagine um when you know cars came in and there was no more horses and buggies no more yeah horses and buggies cars came in people were like you know i don't trust this thing i don't this, i don't do this i don't do that of course there's going to be some rough you know a lot of failed attempts i think um they said that the ford company tried like a million times before they got the perfect car that they wanted to promote to the audience 
of the world. So failure is a part of it, right? We always will fail. But is if you fail and stay down, that is the problem, right? So we can must learn from our mistakes and bounce back. And even our content, we must know how to use our content in the best way and the best manner and bounce back. Hey, this is Italis One. I'm gonna stop here. Um, maybe we do a part two and we continue the conversation. Like, share, and subscribe. Go to the link in the bio. You'll see more information if you want to donate. We are always welcome to those who want to donate. Our proceeds will go to the channel and go to getting equipment. And I appreciate you. Make a love shout out. I'll see you again.